Hello, and hey there, everybody. What's going on, and how are you doing out there? And hey to the chat here on Twitch. Hope everyone is alright and well enjoying your day on this Tuesday. And this is Dirty Gamer. And I'm here on Fortnite for the uh, new live item shop update for today, May 9th, 2023. 5, 9, 2, 3. Take time to shout out thanks to all my subscribers and followers. And if you are new to my channel or a new viewer, welcome to my layer. Showing your support by viewing, liking, thumbs up, sharing my videos takes just a one click, all without my content to be seen and have those bell notifications turned on. All is appreciated. For those new to my channel, new viewers, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch. Both are free. I appreciate you all for doing that. All right. So let's get on to the shop now. It's been it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, so let's take a look to see. I, I don't anticipate to be there much changes since it's been a week. And I don't think there's going to be much different. So as we can see here on this main page, we have the vaulted a year or more. The question will be if any of these items vaulted a year or more are even worth unvaulting. More likely than not, it's going to be a no. So here we have the Dare outfit for 1200 Last seen on March 3rd, 2022. So it was last year, 433 days ago. And just as I stated earlier, nothing much here to have unvaulted. That's the outfit and the streamlined back bling. Very boring. The Stage Slayer outfit for 1500 Last in on June 15th, 2021 at 694 days ago. And again, pretty basic, nothing here. And a kick drum back bling. It'd be helpful if the back bling was animated or reactive, but nope, it's not. Next, Snake Pit for 800. Actually, these three look exactly the same. Snake Pit, Deadfall... Excuse me, Snake Pit, Deadfall, and Knockout, they all look the same, just what, a slight change? Let me take a look at these dates. Snake Pit, October 2nd, 2019, which is 1,316 days ago, seriously? Same for the Deadfall, and let me make sure the Knockout as well, yeah. I don't see any reason why these three have been vaulted that long, nor unvaulted today, unvaulted today. So here you go, you're just kind of save the world base character here, Jonesy, and just yellow and black with like camo, deadfall, and knockout. Wow, these are really, really weak. And then the dragon axe tool, February 2nd, 2022, was 462 days ago, but it's just a tool. And this is what they unvaulted. It has an okay sound, but none of these, as expected, are worth it. Next, we have the Circuit Breaker Outfit for $1,200. This was last uh, offered December 17, 2019 at 1,240 days ago. Really? This? So it's Jonesy again, just in a different kind of fit here. Wow. The Deep Space Lander Glider for 1200 last offered January 22nd, 2020 at 1,204 days ago. And that's more than I think it's worth at 1200 Then we have Midnight Ops, also 1200 last offered February 5th, 2022 at 459 days. Again, another just base, basic looking character and outfit. The Spectre or Spectre tool, which seems familiar to me for 800. Yet it says August 24th, 2021, 624 days ago. That means I'm confident they have tools that looks pretty similar to this. Also very tinny sounding as well. This is what they decided to uh, unvault guys. The Stargazer app for 500 last offered March 19th, 2020, which is 1,147 days ago. Um, 
I mean, very basic here for 500. It is animated, but it's not reactive, which is disappointing. I mean, I do like the way the clouds kind of pass through, but I don't know. Then we have the either duh or duh, I can't tell, however you want to pronounce it. For 1200, last offered February 22nd, 2022, at 442 days ago. Really? Kind of looks like a cave, caveman, cave person here. And a pack bone blackling. Wow, this is so, this has been so weak. Each of these thus far have not been interesting. Then the fish kebab tool for 800. Last offered October 16th, 2021 at 571 days ago. Uh, really this? Eh, the sound is okay, but honestly, it's another disappointing, like, tool or offering. The Death Dealer Outfit for 1200 last offered February 18th, 2020 at 1000 177 days ago? Really? I don't know. The aqua looks okay, I guess. But backlink, pretty disappointing and weak. The bullet slash tool for 800. Last offered. February 18th, 2020 at 1,177 days ago. These should have been bundled. I don't know why it's not. Part of the open water set, pretty tinny sounding. Yeah, these are part of the open water set. These two should have minimum been bundled. Heavy hooks, which is a tool, last offered January 7th, 2022 at 488 days ago. Default alter ego, pretty weak sounding. A stumpy tool for 800 last offered January, excuse me, June 10th, 2019 at 1,430 days ago. This is definitely not it either. It's a little hollow sounding. Square stream wrap for 500 last offered August 28th, 2019 at 1,351 days ago. It says it's animated, but as I expected, a pretty disappointing animation and offering. Now we are on to the feature tab here, and we have a new champion celebration for 300. So I'm going to take a pause and allow this to play through for 300 here. Okay, so you're just celebrating your win unlike some items in the fncs set this item may be available again in the future okay and now it looks like we're back to the portioning where we just have our copy and paste repeats because this dead eye outfit i know i've seen last offered april 10th 2023 at a mere 30 days ago it is considered legendary you have a default no hat and Flutter Dark Deadeye. Actually, this Flutter Dark is pretty nice. I actually like the look of this one. Huh. So this is something that must... I wonder if this is a different outfit option. Because this outfit option does look different than the previous two. I like this one the best. Too bad you don't have this option with a hat. That probably would be the best if this had a hat with it. But unfortunately, the back wing is still disappointing with the second sight. So 2000 for that. Then we have the Spectral Scythe tool. Uh, so this is also April 10th, 2023. So all these are all these going to be the same 30 days ago. The Dead Wave and... Okay, the, the Far Patroller isn't. By the way, these three items should be bundled. There's no reason why they're not when they're always offered around the same recycled turnaround time. So the Spectral Scythe for 800. That's an okay sound. The animation is decent. The Dead Wave wrap for 500. It is animated, but it looks very similar to other wraps I have. Unfortunately, it's not anim it's not reactive. And then we have the Par Patroller outfit, which I do own. Um, it was last offered February 24th at only 75 days ago. So this is all you get here. Just one look. 
And then they brought back the Lucha Bundle, which I do recommend. It's for $2,200, by the way, for this Lucha Bundle. Um, and it's four items. So you get this Dynamo outfit, Mass Fury, Pile Driver Tool. Uh, I didn't want to equip it. I hate when it does that. I really hate this UI. I really do. I'm trying to swing the tool and it keeps equipping it. It's kind of weak sounding. And then the Libre Glider. Again, it has the Lucha type, the Luchador wrestling theme. Uh, and it's worth it considering the each outfit is twelve hundred, the, the 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 tool and the glider are eight hundred each. So for twenty two hundred, that is worth it. All right, so now we're on to the continuation here with Hayes. Hayes, I know I've seen before. Last offered March nineteenth at a mere fifty two days ago for twelve hundred. Here's default, extreme, auric Hayes, and tough luck Hayes. The back lane now, you only get three, which doesn't make sense. A default, Golden Talon, and Burnished Claw. Then you have the Star Shot tool offered on March 19th, 52 days ago. Default, Lucky Star, and Retrograde, Retrograde Star. Pretty tinny sounding. And then we have the Guff Outfit, another common recycled copy and paste from April 9th. 2023 which was just 31 days ago and that's going to go with the rest of this column as well for the same time frame all three these all three should be bundled no reason why they're not so here's the guff outfit only one look fluffle bag back lane which is 1200 the guffy stuffy or goofy stuffy back lane for 400 just that one look it does react happily or angrily to your gameplay so it is reactive then the regal floof tool for 800 the backswing sounds a lot heavier than the contact which is disappointing and then back to the copy and pastes here with the grimoire outfit just offered on april 2nd which was just 38 days ago for 1500 so here's the default style then you have the hoodie look which i do like the iris iridescence on that and then the bone white, which is probably my preferred look with the more white. It's like white and red. Then you got the default. The holo skull backlink's a bit disappointing. No options to change, just one look. And the Forsaken Strike tool, I don't know why they still haven't offered this to be a bundle yet. 800 last offered April 2nd at 38 days ago as well. I do like the sound in that zap uh, contrail then kind of at the end. All right, so this Wendell and Walnut bundle, this debuted yesterday. So this is a new bundle that just started yesterday. So I'll show you what's in it. It's a three-item bundle for 1500 it says, with a built-in emote. Let's take a look what we got here. All right, so here's the outfit. Uh, I don't know. Kind of looks like a wolf, I guess. And he has a squirrel, looks like, in the pocket. And he's scratching the back of his neck. I can tell it was a wolf or a dog. <clears throat> Just says loyal mountaineer. Okay, that's a bit confusing if you don't really know what uh what it's supposed to be, but so be it. And then we have the nut hutch back bling, pretty disappointing back bling. Looks like a woodpecker house. Oh, okay, so a squirrel comes out and throws nuts out and punches. That's actually not bad. So it is animated, that back bling. The Swiper Strikers tool, which looks very similar to a lot of other tools I have. <coughs> it's okay. And then finally, the Squirrely Emote. So you pick up the squirrel, throws a nut to him, and fists him. That's cool. <coughs> and then he throws, flips it, and goes in his pocket. Okay, interesting, I guess. Uh, individually, the outfit's 1200 and the tool's 800 The outfit does come with the back bling and the built-in emote. So on to the daily tab, we have a Dominator outfit, kind of looks like a base character, 800. Last offered March 27th, only one look. The Mariana outfit, which I do recommend <clears throat> for 1500, last offered March 24th at 47 days ago. It is reactive, it reacts to eliminations and loot. And what's really cool is like the the, the, the the palette of colors that will go on the front and the back of the outfit. I do like the look of this a lot, especially when you combine it with that Sky Ray Glider. And then the Moon Jelly backlink is a bit disappointing. I wanted a little more color on it. 
And then we have the squared stream wrap for 500. Last offered March 9th, 2020 at 1,157 days ago. Really? I don't see much to this, to be honest, though. Pretty disappointing. I mean, the red and black coloring is okay. The animation is weak. Then we have the Pina Clobbers tool last offered March 7th, which is just 64 days ago. So they just had this not that long ago. Pretty tinny sounding. All right, so now we have these two emotes. So I'm going to pause this real quick and play these through. So then the first one, Infectious for 500, uh, last offered March 28th, which was just 43 days ago. A bit spastic club sounding, I guess. And then we have the focused emote. It is a traversal for 200. Last offered March 30th, uh, 41 days ago. Oh, this. Yeah, I'm surprised this is a traversal just to have you do the same emotes over and over. Pretty boring and basic. All right, so let's continue through here. So uh, then you can't get a chance to do this last time. So we do have... Uh, this find the for actually correction. This find the force one is a repeat, isn't it? Let me just double check. Yeah. So this find the force has been this tab has been available since May May second. So yeah, I did do this before. So it's the same thing. Anakin Skywalker, Padma, Amidala, and the Battalion Trooper, Clan Clone Trooper, Rupa, uh, Troopax, True Packs, Wat Rat Packs, as well as like their individual items. But what they did do is they did add some of these other uh, classic Star Wars outfits, which I will go through uh, since I didn't get a chance to do from the from the last time I did the shop. So here we have the Kylo Ren outfits for fifteen hundred. Only one style, and there is a cape. You have either the hood up, which I don't see, or the hood down. For fifteen hundred, and then there is the Vibro Scythe tool for eight hundred. Let's take a look at this. It's okay sounding, and then the dark side emote for two hundred. So I probably should just pause here because there's probably going to be some emotes in between all this. So let me play this one for two hundred. So that's what it's going to look like for the dark side. You just do that, unfortunately. And then the Rise of the Skywalker pack is 3,500 V-Bucks. It is 1,000 V-Bucks off. It's a six-item bundle. So it comes with Rey. This is part of the new trilogy set. The Jedi Order back bling. Finn outfit. Only one look, two. The Resistance back bling. The Sith Trooper outfit. And the Sith Trooper blaster back bling. And... and then we also have individually, though, the outfits are 1500 each. And then you have, wait, is, is this staff not included? No. So you don't even get any of the backlinks. Wow. So if you want the back, if you, excuse me, if you want the harvesting tools separately, three item bundle, it's 2000. So you have raised quarter staff here, a bit tinny, the vibro scythe. A bit tinny sounding. And then the Riot Control Baton. It's a bit zappy. All, all that's for 2000 Then the Starfighters is a two-item bundle for 1800 So, of course, you have the classic TIE Fighter. That looks pretty good. And the Y-Wing. So, if you get it in this bundle, it's 1800 as opposed to 1200 each, it looks like. And then, then there's these two separate emotes, which don't come with the bundle, right? No, it doesn't. So if you want these emotes, they're separate. The resistance thumbs up emote for 200. You just thumbs up. Pretty simple. And then the trader emote for 300. It says the trader emote is performed with the riot baton, uh, riot control baton with an equip. But if not equipped, it's probably just going to have that look. All right. And then they brought back the Imperial Stormtrooper outfit for 1500. Only one look there. The Zori or Zori Bliss outfit, also 1500. And then the and then we have the Tie Fighter. As you see, the Tie Fighter and Wing are twelve hundred each, which is pretty high. But unfortunately, if you want this Vanguard Squadron X Wing, it's also twelve hundred, yet not offered in this bundle, which doesn't make sense. So let me show you this glider. I do really like the look and sound of this glider a lot. 
Then we're on to the Boba Fett bundle, four item bundle for 2,300. It's 1,200 off one individually. So Boba Fett here, kind of reminds me of the Mandalorian, the Z6 jetpack, back bling, the Gaffy stick tool, eh, bit, bit tinny sounding, Boba Fett starship glider, and then the targeting computer online built-in emotes. So you get all this for 2300 Individually, the outfits, uh, the outfits 1500 the gliders 1200 and the tools 800 And the outfit does come with the back bling and the built-in emote. All right, now we're on to this uh, Bounty Hunter bundle, six-item bundle for $2,300. Um, I think there's a lot of value in this bundle, especially when you can see here each outfit's $1,500. Uh, and let me show you what's included in the bundle itself. So you get the Fennec Shan outfit here. Only one look, though. The Halo-ish backling, Mythosaur Signet. The Kirstan, who looks a lot like Chewbacca to me. And then the Hut, Hut Clan symbol, symbol backling, which is another holo back I'm disappointed with. And you get Fennec Ship Glider. And then the This Is The Way emote. So, like I said, individually each outfit is 1500, the glider is 800, and the emote is 200. And each outfit does include that very disappointing holo back bling. Then we have the Obi Wan Kenobi bundle, six item bundle for 2200. It's 800 V bucks off if bought individually. Six items. So you have Obi Wan Kenobi, only one look, the Desert Essentials back bling, the Obi Wan's Blade tool. There you go for that. And then the Jedi Interceptor Glider, the Obi-Wan's Message Emote. May the foes be with you. There you go. And then the Kenobi Surrounded Loading Screen. So all that's for 2200 Individually, the outfit, it's the outfit 1600 the Glider's 1200 and the Emote's 200 With the outfit, though, you do get the back bling and the tool, at least. All right, now we're on to the more classic. Uh, I think this would be kind of called the original i guess in terms of the star wars which we have the luke skywalker bundle five item bundle for 2400 it's 1300 v bucks off again part of the original trilogy set and you get three styles you have the default for luke the jedi knight and the cloaked and the capes included feel free to wear other backling but no capes the training remote backling is a bit disappointing to me. I pr would have preferred C-3PO or something, maybe. The X-34 land speeder glider. The little speeder bike traversal emote. And then the slug thrower rifle tool. A bit, a bit hollow sounding, as you can see there. And then uh, individually, the outfit's 1,500, the glider's 1,200, and then the tool and the emote are 500 each. And mind you, the outfit does include the back bling. And then we have the Han Solo and Leia Organa bundle, which I think is even a better value. Um, 2500 for this six-item bundle, 1500 if bought individually. So you will get Han Solo. You get a default look. Duster, and again, looks a lot like the Harrison Ford actor here, since similar to the Mark Hamill uh, for the uh, Luke Skywalker look. They look very similar to their counterparts. And then the Rebel General. And then the Millennium Falcon backling is okay. And then Leia Organa has three look, has multiple looks as well. So you have this default style, and you can have the headgear on or off. And then you have the Boosh disguise. Same thing with the headgear. You can actually see her face if you wish. And again, looks a lot like the actress Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace. And then uh, the Boosh disguise cape. And then the headgear, see what that headgear looks on. So, again, pretty good variety here. And she has the R2-D2 backlink, which I do like a lot. And I, that's why I would have preferred a C-3PO option on one of these other original trilogy people. Or at least have her maybe have the other one. I don't know. Then the Electro, it feels like a missed opportunity to have R2-D2 but not C-3PO. Or maybe even Chewie as a backlink, in my humble opinion. The Electro Staff Tool. Kind of hollow sounding, and then the vibro staff tool, decent backswing. So all that for twenty five hundred, considering each outfit's fifteen hundred, and then the tools are five hundred each, and each outfit does come with their back bling. 
And then special offers and bundles, they actually removed a couple. So if you guys hopefully got took advantage before they removed them. And then the Battle Pass, Fortnite Crew Sub, and Crew Legacy sets. So this uh, item shop, very heavily Star Wars inspired. Um, and a lot of these items that were vaulted a year or more, I think I'm not interested in any of them. So in terms of my humble opinions, what to get, it would be the for the Star Wars, uh, the Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and Leia Organa bundles, the Bounty Hunter bundle, and if you're interested in the gliders, I could see being interested in the uh, this X-Wing or the TIE Fighter. The Mariana outfit. The Lucha bundle. That Deadeye outfit now has an interesting look with that third look that I'm intrigued by, actually. And that's going to do it in terms of those uh, item shops. So taking a look here, uh, we do have a quest update here for the season, for the bonus goal, or the season here, uh, and the bonus goals. So we are on week nine. So week nine has doing the following here. Use a grind rail at Slappy Shores and Shattered Slabs. Travel distance in wind tunnels. Interesting. I didn't know there were wind tunnels. Damage enemy players while under the effects of slap. Pull five stories or more without taking damage. Hopping off a grind mail right help. Okay, so that's a good pro tip. And then open a two lock chest. Okay, so those seem somewhat doable. So that's going to do it. So this has been Dirty Gamer here for the Fortnite uh, new live item shop update for today, May 9th, 2023, 5923, as well as for the quests update. So, uh, let me know if you're interested, what you think, you're intending on purchasing anything from this shop update, will you be adding anything to your collection, and how are you feeling about this update and the quests, did you or someone you know have a birthday, shout out, comments, or questions, you can answer any and all by dropping a comment, liking up, thumbs up, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos, all would help my content to be seen for my YouTube channel, Dirty with 2 Rs Gamer, and have those bell notifications turned on. I also live stream on Twitch, take comments, questions, get birthdays, and shout outs, which I'm doing here. And please follow me, also free, and join my live streams and chatting gaming sessions at the username Dirty with two R's underscore gamer. For super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link. All right, well, that's going to do it. So later to all and to the chat here on Twitch, let's keep supporting, networking, and growing together. Get your game on and your game dirt here. Please don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. All is appreciated.